All right, now we're breaking down 15-yard face mask, this guy, versus the Kentucky Kissing Cousins. KKK. Now, uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and make my pick. <laughs> of course. 15-yard face mask runs away with it and gets the highest point total in the league this week. Let me say this, though. I, I was I – was, I was thinking about this the other day when I was driving. I was thinking, we all know SIBO is is racist, right? Moderately, yeah. I, okay. We also he squeezed a black tip, but he wouldn't he he, <laughs> he he wouldn't have sex with one if that's what you're talking. Well, about. here's where I'm going with this. He's also uh, just mildly homophobic as well, correct? Yeah, almost almost so much it's funny. Okay. Yeah. He, here's my question. I know he's not going down on a guy, okay? So I'm going ahead and taking that off the table. <laughs> but I'm going to ask him a question. Would he rather go down on a black chick? Just okay. eat her out. Okay. Or let another man go down on him, white man. Let a white man go down on you, or you go down on a black chick. Answer that question in the comments, see. Though. That's what I want to know. We know I'm winning this week. I'm more concerned with... Which one are you more? Are you more racist or are you more homophobic? That's what I want to know. I like that. That's a good question. I'll, I'll put that on the league poll. We'll, put, we'll put it on it, the we'll, league we'll, poll. We'll, hey, we'll put it on the poll. For everybody to pick what they For would everybody do. pick what you would do, yeah. And then you, see both exclusively in the comments, because I want to know specifically what you would do. So. We, know, we know what Chris is saying. He's going down on the dude, no question. <laughs> Wait, that wasn't even an option, was it? Yeah. The dude's good. Oh, down wait, on you. No, Chris is Chris is <laughs> he's letting like, Chris is right well, in no, 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 Take that back. Chris is letting that happen, and then he's reciprocating. <laughs> okay, no well, question. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. He's a, he's a, he's a gentleman. So I'll let you break down this game. All right, we're gonna break this down real quick. All right, first first and foremost, uh, I don't know if I can disagree with TJ Moore. Fifteen yard face mask. Well, let's explain why he might not win this matchup. First of all, Kentucky Kissing Cousins was ranked in the top four by everybody who posted ranks on the league post with the exception to maybe one. And he's got Andrew Luck going up against Denver. Andrew Luck's got to keep pace with Peyton Manning, and he's going to be flinging the ball left and right. He's going to put up good points. and But to, to that extent, too, 15-yard uh, face mask has got Nick Foles going up against Jacksonville, ranked in the bottom three in, against quarterbacks last year. Uh, he's going to put up good numbers. Running back core. Frank Gore has got an awesome matchup against the Dallas Cowboys. Worst defense in the NFL right now. He, he's ranked out by Matthew Barry as the number one running back right now, and he's going to go off. Then in that same game, he's got DeMarco Murray going against him. Uh, First-round draft pick, he's going to put up really good numbers. Whereas TJ, 15-yard face mask, has Zach Stacy and Trent Richardson. A lot of question marks around Trent Richardson. I know he's been talking him up, but I, I really, really don't know. I, I, I'm really concerned there. And if it turns into a shootout, Trent Richardson may be eliminated from the game completely and, a Bradshaw, and Bradshaw will take over. Zach Stacy is going to probably get a touchdown and he'll put up decent numbers. And then we come to the wide receivers. It's actually pretty close. 15-yard uh, face mask has Demarius Thomas. Kentucky Kissing Cousins got A.J. Green. You can call that a wash, but I think Demarius Thomas will probably get the better end of that. And then uh, Larry Fitzgerald and Michael Floyd play for the same team going up against San Diego. Can't even think of a starting quarterback for that team. Both of them is going to have good numbers, but I'm leaning towards Larry Fitz. He's a high-volume receiver. And then in the flex, we got Ridley versus Wayne. I'm taking Wayne. Ridley's going to fumble the ball, and he's out the rest of the game, and Vereen's going to get the carries. So for me, I said, I said I disagree. And I'm just going to stick with it. I'm going with Kentucky Kissing Cousins. The running back core is too strong. Frank Gore and DeMarco Murray, you just you can't overcome it. And Trent Richardson. I mean, I will say it's, this. It's, it's Trent Richardson. Before we sign off, I will say that his team was basically the team I wanted. And, uh, and now he's saying he likes the team. Look. More than his team. No, no, no. I'm going to win this week. But... When I, in all my mock drafts, I mean, You're I was right. targeting so, so, A.J. Green, DeMarco Murray, Frank Gore, I, Kyle Rudolph. I targeted so many of these guys yes. in my mock drafts. What he's trying to say is he had wet dreams about this roster. He was roster baiting to it. I picked and him then, at number one and, in the league this year, didn't I? He did pick him number one. Your depth is kind of weak, though, so anyways, whatever. Yeah. I'm going to win. 